and a warm welcome to you from Azadlik Square, heart of Baku and home, of course, to the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. With high speeds, tight corners and few runoff zones, many are expecting a safety car here today, so our drivers will have to stay very much on their toes and hopefully away from the barriers. With 20 turns and a length of 3.7 miles, Baku City Circuit in the heart of the Azerbaijan capital is a real test of a driver's endurance, patience and precision. 90 degree corners through sector one lead into a tightening uphill sprint as we start to circle around the old city. Then a 1.4 mile chase flat out through sector three towards the finish line. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Smith lines up on pole position, and it's Kevin Magnussen in P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Vettel, King, Valtteri Bottas, and Kvyat, Gasly, Albon, Stroll, and Lando Norris, Ocon, Verstappen, and Guan Yu Zhou, and Russell, Leclerc, De Vries, Nicholas Latifi and Nobuharu Matsushita, Sete Camera, Giovinazzi, Giotto and Jack Aitken. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to my team career mode. It's the Mercedes F1 racing team. So, practice and qualifying. Shea Smitty put his car on pole position for the Agabajan Grand Prix and his teammate Sebastian Vettel also in the top five qualifying wasn't too sure where he qualified actually so in a little bit of a recap the last Grand Prix was at Monaco and Sebastian Vettel once again victorious after the points finish last race let's aim to keep the momentum going and also, Shea Svinny had a pretty good race result. He was in the top 10, finishing in 5th in the Monaco Grand Prix. So we go to race strategy. It's a 13 lapper of that Baku City circuit. It's a hot day on the track. It's temperature 35 degrees. In air, it's 28 degrees. So should we have a look... Could we go five laps on the sauce, or could we do softs and hards? We could. We could go six laps on the softs and uh, seven on the medium. So we will do that. So let's tinker up a bit. Take it to about 18. Yeah, that sounds good. So let's get down to the start of the Grand Prix. So ladies and gentlemen, waiting for all five lights to go out. This will be the start of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And we have all, and we are going. So Vettel qualified in third position. Magnussen's in second. Vettel in third. Bottas is in fourth. And King is in fifth can shay dominate this race today waiting for all five lights to go out this will be the start of the azerbaijan a grand prix and shay smitty has hit the front he would want to put a pretty good performance this weekend so ladies and gentlemen from the race leader to car five or six depending on the race length in this case it's a 13 lapper of the Abidjan Grand Prix so the Mercedes father F1 racing team having both cars in the top four Shay Smitty qualified on pole position and Sebastian Vettel qualified in third so Shay has been a red hot all weekend absolutely fast during the practice sessions and it looks like he is showing fine form again he probably would be unstoppable I think in this Grand Prix he would have a he has a perfect opportunity winning it today can he do it 
the Afatore right behind him. This is going to be a quick sprint race. Oof. Gee, absolutely smoking. <coughs> well, we will stay on with Shay Sweetie once again. Can Kevin Magson? Is it Kevin Magson or Jordan King? It might be Jordan King in the Afatore. I think it is. Can Jordan King get another podium? He finished in third position at the Monaco Grand Prix. And Sebastian Vettel finished in second. And then, no, so sorry, no. Fottery Bottas finished in second and Sebastian Vettel end up winning the Monaco Grand Prix. Pretty good achievement from him. It's been unstoppable so far in season six. Sebastian Vettel can Shay put it in to his six race winning streak. So Shay is on the soft compound tire. Can he make the use of it? Same with Jordan King, he's on the soft tires. Same with Sebastian Metal, the top three are uh, using the soft compound tires. So it looks like Shea is opening a bit of a gap to Jordan King now. Shea is definitely has maximum down, uh, downforce on his car. So we will go on board with the Alfa Toro driver. And that is Kevin Magnussen, so <coughs> sorry, he is in second spot. There's been ra radio reports that Kevin Magnussen is struggling with his car. He doesn't know how long he can hold on, if he can. Kevin Magnuson is currently third in the Drivers' cha Championship and his teammate is in fourth, John King. Beautiful driving by everyone today. It's an absolutely beautiful day in Abidjan. I can't even say Abidjan. But we managed to do it. So hopefully everyone is been enjoying this series so far. And hopefully we can do some more. So that's another lap completed. So Sebastian Metal. He would be gunning for this race victory today. Waiting for mistakes from Shay and Kevin Magnussen. Hopefully everyone's enjoying the new F1 2021. I haven't played it yet. I haven't even started it. I haven't even got the game. I'm still trying to finish off the 
my team career mode so of F120 so that's what I'm doing I don't want to rush into a new game yet so yeah why not why not finish the career mode most huge youtubers who try to play my team career modes never never finish their careers but this youtuber he will Fiverr that is my name okay that's another lap completed and we are now on board with Jordan King he's got a bit of a gap between third to sixth listen to that Honda power and engine nice sounding car been a pretty good season six so far hasn't been much to write home about it's pretty much been the whole Sebastian Vettel show in season six in the in his Mercedes father racing car can Jordan King catch up to Sebastian Vettel got his sights on him it's definitely he's definitely pushing John King hey what's going on oh Kevin Magnussen is out of the Grand Prix. He is out of the Grand Prix. Engine failed on him. And now we are on board with Pierre Gasly in the Mercedes AMG racing car. Five laps has now been completed. Pierre's got a lot of fresh air. He can run in. There's no one around him. He might be coming into the pits in this one. In this lap. Because it looks like he is pushing. Oh god. I love this I love this little part of the um racetrack. It is really delicious. <laughs> delicious. I love these um, camera angles in the air, on the side, anywhere. It's actually pretty cool. I just can't wait for the to get my PS5 up and running, and then I can play F121. That would be unbelievable okay it's Pierre he is, he is coming into the pits and now we are on board <coughs> with who are we on board with that is Shay Smitty so Shay Smitty is still leading in the Grand Prix and he's on the medium compound tyres. Shea will absolutely rocket his car to victory lane, I think, today. He is unstoppable. He is smashing everyone at the moment in this Grand Prix. We have not seen this all season so far.
Gee, Shay is smoking it. Bit of cut, corner cutting there. Shay boy, Shay boy, Shay boy, Shay boy. Domination from the young Australian. Showing why he should earn himself another contract for next season. Even though it's his racing team. Showing the world he is an absolute spider monkey. And, and that is another lap completed. So we will go on board. No, we won't. We will go on board with Sebastian and Vettel. He's currently running in second place. Can the German catch up to the Australian? He might have a little battle with Jordan King soon, Sebastian Vettel. This will be an interesting and tasty contest. Shea is a lot more quicker through certain sec sections than Sebastian Vettel. Bunny hop over the sausage. Driving beautifully at the moment. Another lap completed. And we are on board. Viv Jordan King. The only Alfa Torre driver in the field at the moment. And looks like Sebastian is opening a bit of a gap towards leaving King behind a little bit. Beautiful work there by the Brit. It's been a very good race so far. Five laps remaining of the Abidjan Grand Prix. Season six of the Mercedes Father F1 team career mode. Oh, Jordan King got a little bit squirmy there. Oh, he's, uh, he's driving on edge. Another lap completed and we will go on board with, is that Pierre Gasly? Or Sebastian, or oh, Bottery Bottas, no it's Pierre Gasly.
Doing good, boys. Doing good. And the two McLarens behind P Pierre Gasly. And Danny Kvyat and Esteban Ocon. God, it's been a great race. Can Pierre get on the podium? Can he catch up to the main group? So, another lap done. And it's three laps remaining. So, we will stay on board with Shay Swinney for the remainder of the race. Or the top two cars. Jay has absolutely dominated the Ab Ab Abidjan Grand Prix from start to finish. Pretty much this race was, this racetrack is one of his strongest one. It's funny because in the Monaco Grand Prix it wasn't, he absolutely, he does not like the Monaco Grand Prix. But this Abidjan Grand Prix, well, this is one of his strongest tracks on the calendar. And that is another lap completed. So let's quickly go on board with Sebastian Vettel. No chicken flag yet. <laughs> and Vettel is driving his pants off too in this race. Sebastian he's absolutely brilliant today he is currently the world he's currently leading the drivers world championship absolutely dom dominating the drivers championship it's been way too good this season. He's driving on another level. Doing his thing. And we're on board with Chase Vinny now. So this will be the last lap. of the Abidjan Grand Prix. It's been a brilliant Grand Prix. Great to be watching this one today. And there's Sebastian Vettel.
Sebastian Vettel's been pretty good so far for this Grand Prix. And Shay Smitty has even been better. Oh, well done, Sebastian. Well done, Shay. They're showing why these guys are the best. Gee, they are brilliant drivers, that's for sure. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And there we go. And Shay, he will cross the line. He will win at Abidjan Grand Prix. And coming in second position is the German in Sebastian Vettel. And in third, it is the Alfa Toro in Jordan King. And Shay Smitty, the last couple of corners, he'll win his second race of the season. And it's Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And right behind him is his teammate Sebastian Vettel will get second place. And the Alpha Toure will be Jordan King. Well done, Shay Smitty, what a win, son. Fantastic win by the Australian. Absolutely awesome. Just amazing. Well done. That is Shay's second win for the season. Driver of the day goes to Jack Aikens from Renault. Shay's pretty happy. You can't <coughs> fault the performance on the track today. A well-deserved victory. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. So here are a the race winners. Fodri really finishing in seventh position. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. Shea has the moves. The Australian finishing the race in first spot and in second the German his teammate Sebastian Vettel and in third position it was Jordan King bye bye and I will see you in the next one